Illumination of Conscience Warning of the Spirit of Truth Several saints of the Church prophesied about the illumination of the conscience of human beings, which leads us to know our souls as God sees them for the purpose of repenting and living a holy life. In the year 1800, God revealed to Blessed Anna Maria Feiji that there would be three days of darkness. Also spoke to her about the illumination of conscience, telling her a great purification will come upon the world, preceded by an illumination of conscience, in which everyone will see themselves as God sees them. Around 1830, St. Catherine Lamarie also received the revelation about the illumination of consciences. In more recent times, in the apparitions at Garabandal and Medjugorje, the Virgin Mary has prophesied about the heavenly grace that will come one day for all mankind, before the moment of justice that is already near. In an urgent message I received from Jesus on October 24, 2019, I, Joseph of Jesus and Mary, shared this with you. In the last effort of the divine providence for the salvation of souls, my Holy Spirit will shine His light in the consciences of all human beings so that they have the opportunity to repent. But what is the illumination of conscience? In reality, it is the light of the Holy Spirit that shows the soul sin in such a way that the soul feels the rigors of the particular judgment prepared for after death. And from then, the soul prefers to die than to seriously offend God. When a sin is committed, it is like when one catches a virus. The virus multiplies, harming many cells and in many cases it succeeds in causing the death of the body. Sin acts silently like a virus infecting the conscience in such a way that it anesthetizes it by filling it with darkness, first taking away the pain of the soul from offending God, and then engendering more sins that end up doing mortal harm to the soul. Sin not only harms the person who commits it, but it acts on the other person as well, as in the case of adultery. Sin generates countless consequences that are not seen by the sinner. For example, as a consequence of adultery, a marriage can be lost. It affects the children of the sinner as well as the children of the other person if he or she is married. It generates many problems of irresponsibility that can produce abandonment of children which generate psychological complexes, traumas, resentments, setbacks of fortune, lack of education, and in some cases leads victims to suicide and adultery leads the adulterer to hate the person God gave him as a companion in their marriage. But the one who commits sin does not see all this, so his conscience is darkened and he needs the light of God to see sin with all its ramifications. The, illuminations. the illumination of the conscience brings out all darkness in the soul, leads the sinner to total repentance produces a horrible feeling in the face of sin, which makes the soul prefer death than offending God again. It is very different from the cosmic illumination of the conscience taught by the New Age, which in reality is a distraction from the devil. I want to give testimony of how this illumination of my conscience occurred. Approximately 30 years ago, since for me it was a spiritual foretaste or an outpouring of the Holy Spirit that has baptized my soul with this fire, a privilege 
that you have received, but which all the saints have received. It is a gift that is only attained when true repentance, literally leaving tears of conversion. I was a normal person in my faith, like any Catholic. I justified myself and was sure that all was well before God. A series of events happened that led me to meditate on the mysteries of God. And the moment came when I felt the illumination of conscience that consists of seeing our souls not as we understand them at this moment, but as God sees them. All my sins came to light, both small and great. And then I also saw their consequences and with much pain I felt guilty, seeing how my sins crucified Christ on the cross. As a consequence, I felt true repentance that I never felt before. I made a rigorous examination of conscience based on the Ten Commandments, on the capital sins and on the works of mercy. I wrote down all my sins on several sheets of paper and it was with tears that I made a general confession. From then on, I cried for about six months in a row for having offended God. This caused me a total transformation that led me to give testimony of my life. Now I no longer live for myself, but for the Lord. And the light of God illuminates my life to lead me on the paths of truth. The illumination of conscience begins with the experience of Pentecost in the soul, that is, the baptism of the Spirit, a term that deserves explanation. During baptism we are clothed with the light of Christ and receive the Holy Spirit, the sanctifying grace that leads us on the path of life in Christ. But the Holy Spirit comes proportionally to all souls according to the surrender we have to the Divine Will. In the Virgin Mary, whose surrender was total, the Holy Spirit descended and gave His fruit, Christ Himself, Jesus, the Incarnate Word of God. In each one of us, God wants that total surrender so that we can produce Christ as fruit in our lives. And actually, all Christians do this to a different extent, because we are all different. Hence, they need to ascend that ladder of spiritual life in order to reach the source of light, which is Christ Himself, crucified for us on the cross. The total outpouring of the Spirit is achieved only by the soul that spiritually ascends Mount Calvary and crucifies itself with Christ. In Christ, the soul crucifies all its sins, dies to itself, and thus knows the truth, and the truth sets it free forever. The man of God does not sin, because he is born of God. First of John chapter 3, verse 9. No one who is born of God will continue to sin, because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. Illumination of the conscience, when asked for and found, produces great spiritual joy. Likewise, when it happens for all mankind, it will bring much joy to the God-sacrificing souls. But it will be a terrible disaster for sinners. It will be a sword that will pierce their hearts and heal them only if they repent. Otherwise, they may die in their pride. God in His divine mercy will send the illumination of consciences in a last attempt to convince man of his sin, to save him from his justice. Because after death, man will have no more opportunity for the divine mercy, since he will face the justice of God. These are words that Jesus has given me. In the last effort of the divine providence, 
for the salvation of souls, my Holy Spirit will shine his light in the consciences of all human beings, so they will have the opportunity to repent. Holiness, 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 divine treasure, which is the will of the Father, holy desire of God who wants the best for our souls. That is why I want to share with you this prayer that the Heavenly Father gave me to ask for the illumination of the consciences of all human beings. And at the end, I will also share with you a prayer to ask for the personal illumination of the conscience. The Lord asked me to pray this prayer frequently and to share it. Prayer for the illumination of the conscience of all human beings. Lord God Almighty, unleash your grace upon all this humanity in so much need. Pour out your Holy Spirit, save your light, so that it may illuminate the consciences of all human beings, and so that we may see our souls as you see them, so that we may repent and cry out for your forgiveness and mercy. Lord, release the divine superpowers so that they may enter into action. And for all those who consider it important to receive the illumination of the conscience, I recommend that they make this prayer frequently. Personal Prayer for Illumination of Conscience Enlighten my conscience, Lord, and give me the spirit of truth. Enlighten my conscience, Lord, and give me the spirit of truth. Enlighten my conscience, Lord, and give me the spirit of truth. Lord God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are light. Fill me with your light, for the devil and evil are the darkness that surround me. Enlighten my conscience, so that I may see my soul as you see it, so that I may feel true sorrow for my sins and be totally converted to you. Lord Jesus, you are the truth. Show me the truth about the state of my soul and give me the light to walk always in the truth. Lord, the darkness of the devil surrounds me. The enemy of my soul seeks to turn me away from your light. Give me light to blind him with your radiance. Give me the truth to unmask his light. Lord, give me the grace to always walk in your light and to know the truth in every situation. Enlighten my conscience, Lord, and give me the spirit of truth. Please share these prayers that are of utmost importance in the salvation of many souls. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, share this message, and leave your comments. You will find great links below the description of this video. God bless you.